Let's go, let's go, let's go, and welcome to the Art of Music Tech Podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Fayla, and over there is my co-host, Dennis. What's up? All right, we're at the One of One Production Studio in Fort Lee, New Jersey, uh, where we record podcasts, uh, music, and voiceover, and do live streaming and yeah, doing video like we're doing right now. Uh, but you may be listening also because this is a podcast as well, but check out one of one productions. Well, or 23 DB productions, actually our, <laughs> our other business is uh, YouTube uh, that has this podcast where you can see the, the video version of what we do. But today, uh, we are getting into a review of the SPL Mark I monitoring and recording controller. Uh, this thing is a beast. Um, we have it in our mix studio uh, where we can monitor our Kali uh, LP8 speakers and our... Um, with the sun, our no, Neumann, Neumann um, with a K10, mm, I forget I the model remember. number on it, but <laughs> we used it on on our setup, and these thing, this thing was killer. Um, first of all, to just be able to have a toggle, e easy toggle switch for the two options of, of listening, and then also having an off in the middle, this dead silent. It was no bleed. It was no, I would just dampened it down a little bit. No, it was, it was, you could hear either or. And uh, it has this nice big audio knob that's nice and heavy. All the switches are nice and heavy. Um, as well as you, you being able to, to choose whether you're listening to a mono feed or a stereo feed or a left to right feed, this flipped. You know, left side is on the right, right side is on the left. So you can hear the heck out of everything. Uh, you also have a, you know, lights right here. The one in the middle tells you that it's on. The two on the side tell you if your left or right speaker is peaking. So you can stay away from any distortion problems. Uh, you can also choose between hearing your USB uh, input or your actual analog input so that you're on the back which we'll get into we also have um headphone and a crossfeed um knob so you can set certain volumes so you don't you know blow out your ears going in between certain sources you can uh, create a crossfeed and just make sure that you know you're hearing it but it's at its proper volume and you're not, you know, giving yourself a headache. And um, now these numbers are going to sound crazy, but th this is the, 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 the number. We're used to hearing 24, you know, 48. S yeah, 1644. Uh, 1644. Well, check this CD out. Yeah, 32, 768, 32-bit. 768 uh kilohertz this that's amazing and you can really hear it in the headphones which we have some good uh sennheiser hd headphones that we use for this and everything's everything sounds great um as well as with the monitoring i mean our sources just got a crazy new depth Mm -hmm. just going through this box i mean we're big on using you know really good cable and everything in the process and you know this analog box really adds a warmth and just and a depth that you can hear what you what's going on and quickly and not have to let me take it outside and da da da, da. like this is a very it makes your system just very believable and not having to second guess yourself on different different um sources um is, is what really um was a biggie you know and the fact that how easy it is to 
just constantly while you're mixing, have your hand on it and just and being able to flip between the two the the two sources that you have going on and this big knob you know and just you know setting the taste and just you know and being able to get to it so quickly quick you know it was like oh man how how did we go without this <laughs> even uh, though we were in need of it and we knew it the, the yeah, this would just brought it all together though before we got this unit you had to go through the interface, and from the interface, you had to go to a monitor controller. So you had to have two separate devices. You have to bunch of cables between them. And then, you know, the converters on the audio interface, you can really compare it to these converters because they can produce from 10 hertz to 200 kilohertz, which is a little bit insane to human ear because it's impossible to really hear 200 kilohertz. No speaker can reproduce that really or a microphone can capture that and as far as spl concerned they make high-end gear period yes recording or mastering mixing gear built in germany made in germany so all the parts that you know they put in this unit are i mean we consider high-end and mm -hmm. they are and you can hear it you can hear it you can <laughs> go ahead and buy it hundred fifty dollar uh, monitor controller or like two hundred dollar but you 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 get what you pay for yeah i mean and being able to switch between the two mm -hmm. with a hundred and fifty dollar that you you're not gonna find you that not to a go, good one anyway you still have to go <laughs> through audio interface and then go output into your controller which this combines so many things in one box audio interface which if you have mac or like a laptop or desktop or uh, iPad or phone, you can connect this thing to anything. And for Mac, you don't even have to have a driver. Mm -hmm. So you just plug and play and get, you know, get get things rolling. Yeah. Quick. Yeah, I mean, and that gets us to the back of the unit. Uh, it comes with a manual and you get a power supply. Uh the back you can you turn on and off the unit with the nice heavy duty um, on and off switch. Uh, it also has a dip switch, one for uh, like a 10 dB pad on your monitor source uh, on on both of you of the uh, the monitor um, outputs. I'm sure. So um, and then the second toggle switch is for um, if you're recording, can you or do you want to record just channel one of your left input, or do you want to record left and right together, but it'll be mono? So it gives you options that I mean, I mean, really, that's for like mastering. That that's a advanced thing to even think about <laughs> for most people. Uh, and the cool thing about the dip switches is, is that you don't need a, 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 a pin and like hope, you know, hope, hoping you can get in there. Mm -hmm. it, it sticks out just a bit that even you don't even need long fingernail to, mm -hmm. yeah, to choose. Very comfortable. Yeah. But to it's, work with. but it's not, uh, it doesn't protrude out enough to where it would, uh, attached to anything so i i found that this okay spl you know what you're doing uh, all of the uh the the ts and trs um inputs and outputs on the back of the unit stick out for um better grounding uh because you know on, on a lot of units the quarter inches you know in the unit in but the this unit. is nice heavy duty uh, inputs and outputs and um, to get really good sound which we get and as well as there's a usb section that you can hook up to your laptop and you can see it as an audio interface but it's this is really a monitoring and recording controller and monitoring is so important um for any mixing engineer uh just to know where your mix is going and where do you need to take it and, and know that from that source that you're listening from, this will sound good on all sources. We used to have to, you know, go into your car and do all of this, but 
this as well as the other things that we got going on in our studio. Again, we have nice cable. We lose really nice, you know, studio monitors. Um, this just brings it all. This is the icing to the cake with it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and just how it just lends itself to, to quick movements and not even having to look at the unit, the way that it's, it's set up. And I really enjoy workflow is pretty simple. As soon mm -hmm. as you plug it in, you you go into your DAW, you you choose SPL Mark One, and you're ready to roll. Really, I mean, for mixing or I mean, I find myself listening to music just <laughs> running yeah. through this thing, and you know, my favorite mixes. Uh, I'm enjoying actually some reverb tales or like things details that I didn't hear before. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. It's. Yeah, it's really. I mean, again, this is seven ninety nine. Really yeah, and it's nice and heavy, and it's it's it's, it's exactly a tank. yeah what you want. Yeah, at a seven ninety nine price point, I totally get it. This may not be for this is not for a beginner, but if nope. you you know if your ears are in tune with your room and you're looking for different ways to take it to another another level as far as being able to listen and really trust your mixes coming out of your source um this mark one is the way to go i mean <laughs> they have some cheaper versions where you can just monitor through it without connecting to the computer but this thing is yeah 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 um yeah the spl brand the as fire. we mentioned before yeah they do heavy duty stuff so this is no surprise and you know i i didn't expect too much i didn't expect any less but they still <laughs> went above and beyond and that's what they do yeah, with, yeah with, this with is what they gear. do yeah and you can tell and it's just very well thought out and uh big up to spl and looking forward to everyone reading my column on it because i'm mm -hmm. gonna do this in a written form kind of what you just heard or vice versa if you saw this uh saw my column and you know that the the link to this yeah it, it's yeah it's a very well put together um product and and we're, we're fully behind it so mm -hmm. yeah i think then that, that's about it yeah. for, for this one um thank you uh, for listening uh, to our review on the SPL Mark I monitoring and recording controller. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Um, you could check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, IG, LinkedIn, um, all the good spots um, to give, you know, more knowledge on all the, the audio, uh, you know, our expertise to audio to, to help you out and make decisions for what you may want to purchase next. Oh, also, check out the One of One Productions e-store. We're now selling audio products as retailers, which we are retailers now, for some of the biggest uh, um, audio manufacturers out, ma manufacturers out there. Everybody from Shure, Sennheiser, eight, to our friends at Lewitt, Lewitt. Um, Focus Right, all that good stuff. So um, at one of one productions dot com, you could click on the store button and you'll see all the stuff that we have available uh, for purchase, and uh, it, it supports the show and. Everything that we're doing and just, you know, being able to give out the knowledge that also, hey, you can buy the the uh, the the products from us now. Uh, and that's been a, a great transition. So, uh, yeah. So check that out. All right. And so from Dennis that's and me. myself at the one of one production studios in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Let's go. Let's go, guys.